in this exciting tutorial, you're gonna shrink things and explode things up. Think of all the possibilities. Let's go ahead and get started. Open up UEFN and go to File, New Project to create your own project. I've already got mine right here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna laser zap one of the props or multiple props and we're gonna make it big or make it small. So first things first is I'm gonna get rid of this spawner here and then I'm gonna to go to my Fortnite devices and we're gonna put here a trigger. This is what's gonna make it go from big to small, all right? We're also gonna need a prop manipulator. This is how we'll detect when a prop is attacked, like so. An item spawner, so we can grab our ray gun. And let's change this to ray gun, add item, ray. Now let's find some props. Go ahead and click the props and let's search for doll. We'll throw on one of these little dolls right here. Here's how it works. We put the prop manipulator around the prop and then when the prop is damaged, we go ahead and scale up our prop or scale it down based on the current mode that we're in. So what I'm gonna do is create a new folder here in my project called shrinkables and we'll grab our bear, right click, move to shrinkables. I'm gonna call this bear, F2 to rename. Our prop manipulator, I'm gonna rename this to bear manipulator. And what I'm going to do is drag it onto the bear and then move it right over the middle. Now, let's go ahead and affect all objects in a zone and we'll leave it at one, 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 but move it up. So we're gonna use this prop manipulator to detect damage on the object inside of it so we can react accordingly or so we can scale it. We just wanna make sure that in our prop manipulator that it is invulnerable. So is prop invulnerable? Yes. So modify prop health, is prop invulnerable? It'll still fire the damage events, which is what we want, but we don't wanna destroy our little bear. Now we need some code. So what we're gonna do is verse explorer, right click, create a new verse file, and let's call this Shrinkinator, Shrinkinator. You know, like that show, Shrinkinator. And click verse. Because I don't want to create a bunch of different editables for all the shrinkables we might have in a map, I'm gonna create a new class called, we'll call these uh, Shrinkies, all right? Colon equals class. And I'm gonna make this concrete so we can use at editable. And then in here is where I'm gonna put the prop manipulator at editable prop manipulator of type prop manipulator device like so. And then the prop itself, the bear, the whatever. So we'll make a separate class for our shrinkies. And then over here in our main device, what we'll do is we'll make an array at editable and we're gonna call this shrinkables and that's going to be an array of type shrinkies. And uh, this sounds so lame. Shrinkies uh, equals array. So an empty array here inside of our code. If we go back to the editor, verse, build verse code, we've got our new shrinkinator, which we'll put here. And notice here in the bottom right, we can now add shrinkables. How cool is that? So we don't have to copy and paste all those editables over and over and over again. So for the bear, Okay, we've got the bear manipulator and we've got the bear itself, which we've attached to it. So that'll make our life easier. So I'm gonna go find our new code file here, the shrinkinator. I'm gonna F2 to rename this to game manager. That way I just don't lose it. And then, so prop manipulator number one is gonna be the bear manipulator and the prop is going to be the bear. Okay, and what you can do is for these ones here, you can do the exact same thing. You can copy and paste your zones and move it around those other objects. We're just gonna do the one. Okay, back in our code, shrink mode, okay? 
var shrink mode of type logic. Are we shrinking or are we not shrinking? Okay. Uh, we're also going to need uh, an ability to change that mode. So when the player steps on the trigger, change the mode. So toggle shrink mode. Uh, if we're in shrink mode, just make it the opposite, basically. Really simple, simple method here, okay? Then what we need to do is have an initializer where we initialize our prop manipulator so it listens for damage events because when anything in that zone is damaged, we want to scale up our item, okay? Recently, they released the ability to scale items with a uh, transform. So the scale is now part of the transform. And so what we can do is we can scale a prop here. So I'll create a new method here called scale prop, like so. So we're gonna create scale prop void equals. I'm gonna bring over some code here and we'll talk about it. So what we're going to do is create a new constant here called prop scale. We're gonna get the current scale of the prop. Okay, are we in shrink mode? If we are, here's what we want to do. We want to decrease the scale by 0.1. That is a number I chose to see how fast it shrinks down. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want it bigger or smaller. So in the shrink mode, we take the current scale and we subtract it by 0.1. Keep in mind, this method is going to be called every time that damage is called on the prop manipulator. So with the laser gun, it's continually called, okay? So this will be called over and over and over again, and these numbers will quickly add up. And we're doing a uniform scale. You could also scale it sideways or up and down, make it fat and wide and make it look creepy. You could change those numbers to your heart's content. Transform, all right? We're creating a new transform. We put in the current prop position, the current prop rotation, we're not changing that. The only thing we're changing here is the scale. The current scale minus 0.1, a very small difference, but as it goes over time, it will shrink down. And then lastly, we teleport it, which is basically the way we're saying, hey, update it uh, to this new transform over and over and over again. If we're not in shrink mode, let's just make it bigger. And all I did here was the opposite. Now there is more elegant ways to write this code. I made it simple for you so you can just see big, small, copy, paste, no big deal. Same thing's happening here except we're going bigger, okay? Now, we have here this subscribable on damaged event of the prop manipulator, but we haven't implemented that function yet or that method. So what we're gonna do is do that now, all right? So we're going to say on prop damaged, I'll paste that here. So it'll be called whenever the prop in the prop manipulator is hit. And in here, we're simply gonna call scale prop. So every time the damage is called on the ray gun, it's going to call this function here. Let's go to our main device here. So what we wanna do is we want to have our trigger. So when the player steps on it, we get those events. So let's go ahead and add our trigger device editable right here. Okay, our trigger device. And then in on begin, We'll listen for that trigger device, like so, okay? Then we're gonna go through all of our shrinkables. So if we had 100, we'd go through 100 of them here. And we're going to call the init function, which we created up here. So in our on shrink toggle, which happens when the player steps on the trigger, means we go from big to small or from small to big, like so. Uh, what we're gonna do is go through all the shrinkables again and uh, toggle shrink mode. All that's gonna do is say, hey, do we go bigger or smaller? Because our gun has switched, okay? Uh, we're really just taking the tools that Fortnite's given us, UEFN, and we're using them in different ways. We're not actually using the damage and uh, we're actually just making things bigger and smaller, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna save this here. And one more thing here, you're gonna see some errors. We just need to import the spatial math module. So temporary spatial math, so we can work with those cool little uh, constructs there and save that. Let's go to verse, build verse code and shrink toggle and select your trigger. We've got our shrinkables here in the array and everything's looking pretty dandy. Let's go ahead and give this a test. All right, let's see if it worked. Let's grab our shrinkinator and uh... <laughs> Boom! Pretty cool, right? It's like really big. Awesome. 
And uh, let's do our trigger. So small, excellent. That's super awesome. How about we just try one more thing where we shoot it and it explodes really big. What we'll do here in the code is just change the scale of our item. And let's say we'll make it 10 times bigger, okay? Copy all of them. Ten times bigger, ten times smaller. Save. Verse, build verse code. And I added a pistol, so I'm going to push changes. All right, let's grab that pistol and give it a shot. <laughs> Literally. Boom. What? Pretty awesome. Boom. Boom. Ah. Ah. Pretty cool, right? All with a few pops now. Boom. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We shrinkinated stuff and we explodinated stuff. If you have more suggestions, let me know in the comments below and subscribe. See you next time. Behold my latest invention, the shrinkinator.